Hey, Kiara. Hey. How you doing? I'm feeling good. It's a good day. It is a good day. Mm-hmm. Now. But yes. Kiara, I, Kiara, I was irritated. So y'all, I'm not wasting no time. I'm going, I'm just sliding right on in to this five minute five. Going in there. So, and I know Kiara got my back. She's going to get me on the right track. But of course. Kiara, you know, it's, it's very irritating to me when people always think they have the answers for me. And even mm-hmm. worse is when they ask me how to do something or ask me about something but they don't do it man look, mm-hmm. Kiara I can't I can't do it for them I mean Absolutely. and that will and that that applies to me so mm-hmm. just real quickly when going through the counseling for MST my counselor recommended tools that I utilize a year later me and my children guess what Still doing those tools because I want to get better. I want to be the right. best Vonda walking that there is. But Kiara, mm-hmm. that's so irritating. It is so irritating. Like it can be. <laughs> get me on the right track, man, so I can stop letting. I mean, get under my skin. <laughs> I mean, it is irritating and frustrating when we try to help other people or when we try to give them advice on certain things or tips and stuff like that and they end up not taking taking it or taking that next step of executing I think it boils down to readiness like you were saying um there are things that your therapist had given to you because um you know you want it to get better right and things that you still use to this day a year out I, and I think for many people, it just boils down to readiness. Like, are you ready to take that next step? Whatever it may be. I mean, it could be as simple as, you know, somebody giving somebody else advice on how to save. I know you have your, your coupon queen business. Um, so giving advice in that realm, it can even be frustrating because people may ask questions and may not take that advice. But again, that boils down to readiness. Are they ready to take that next step and not be handheld anymore? We can't hold people's hand and actually execute, you know, the advice that was given. Um, I feel like some people just want the results without putting in any work. That too. Okay. So I think that it's too far. I think there are two sides to that. So readiness, a person has to be ready. And then there are some people that are just going to ask questions to see if they can just get stuff out of you, you know, like not just the tip, but free stuff. Like my Dawn dishwashing liquid. (laughs) Right, like, oh, can't you just give me, instead of, you know, the tip, that's cool, but don't you have extra? Can I get that extra off of you? Can I get that extra Dawn? So, I mean, and that could be it. Some people, you know, it's the readiness. Some people just wanna be handed things for free. And they just really don't intend on putting in the work. They may look make it look like that because they're asking the question. Right. But what, what they're really kind of getting towards is, am I going to be able to get something for free? So, I mean, in, not, not to rant, but something that a, a really cool professor taught me um, in grad school, and I forgot who it was. I wish I could recall. Um, but... She was like, you have to meet people where they are, right? Because I think a lot of times we have expectations for people um, and we want so much for people to just get it right, to do what they need to do. But a person may not be ready or again, a person may just want to be given things freely and we just have to accept people for who they are and their readiness, Meet, meet them where they are. And I I know it's hard though, because it's irritating, (laughs) but then we can't want more for for people than they may want for themselves. So that's true. Mm -hmm. Kiara, you closed that out beautifully. She got me on track, y'all. See, that's why I love her so much. Kiara is awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you.
Thank you, Kiara. Stay safe. Of course. Of course. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.